Hello and welcome to our second tutorial where we will continue from the step one where we generated a PDF. In this example, we would like to send out an email with the generated documents to your customer. In the first part, we will go over and see how the final application looks like. And then we will recreate this behavior in the same application that we started in the first video. So let's start. At first, we will type in a name so we can continue with the first example with Peter Parker. I will click on the button here. And then in a few seconds, you can see that over an email, we have a new one here and your customer can see easily the generated PDF with his or her name on it. So how can we recreate this in our application? In the first example, we started with the first step in our workflow. And that is that we will generate the document using PDF generator API. This is the same, but we changed the second step. And that is that we will send an email. So you can easily find it like new action, then click on email and send email. So you will just specify two, then you will specify the subject and the body. So in our example, we are using our email. Then you can just type in some sender name and also the subject of your email. In the body, it's important to have result of step one, which is the content. And as you can see here, in our first step, we are using output type URL. So your customer will see the URL of the generated PDF and he or she is able to open up this very easily. So we can click on preview again. Try one more test. It would be the second one. I will click on generate. And in our email, you can find a new one with a new URL with a new name here. You can also change the name of uh, the template and we will show how you can do that in the next video where we will work with bubble database. See you soon.